Okay, picking up where we left off, we have x joules equals 185 newtons times 0 0.80 meters. So we're just going to multiply, plug it into your calculator, and 185 times 0 0.80 equals 148 joules of work done. Because remember, a newton times a meter is a joule. Okay, hopefully that was easy. Okay, so let's do a second example. Example number two is going to be a little bit more of a rearranging equation, and um, let's do that one. So a 15 Newton rocket uses 70 joules of work to get off the ground. What height did it reach? So a 15 Newton rocket uses 70 joules of work to get off the ground. What height did it reach? So we are going to now go ahead and solve that. And remember, just like last time, we're going to underline what we're given. So we're given 15 newtons and 70 joules of work. And we want to know the height, so we're going to circle the height. And again, even though I said height here, we do have to remember that height is a distance. So we're still using our same variables, our W, F, and D. So we're going to have a work, a force, and a distance. And we're going to plug in what we're given. And we know that our work given to us is 70 joules. So it's going to be 70 joules. Our force is 15 newtons. Now 15 newton is kind of displayed here as the weight of the rocket. Now remember, weight in physics is a force. So it is mass times gravity. Because remember, force is mass times acceleration, and gravity is acceleration. So mass times gravity equals weight in newtons. And so we're using that as our force. And so we also um, now need to find the distance. And we know that distance is x. And we're going to be finding that in the unit of meters. OK, so now we're at a point where we have to find the equation that we're going to use. So we're going to rearrange the equation. If I look at my circle up here, I'm looking for distance or the height. So I'm going to cover up the D and I get W on top of F. So W divided by F or work divided by force. So let's go back down here. I'm actually going to write out that equation so I can remember it. So it's going to be D equals W divided by F, work divided by force. So I'm just going to plug it in. So I have X meters is my D equals my work, which is W, so that's going to be 70 joules. I'm going to divide that by 15 newtons. Okay. Now at this point, I could just plug it into my calculator and go 70 divided by 15 okay, equals 4.7. So I know that. But let's talk about units, because if you remember, a joule has to divide out by a newton, and we need to end up with a meter by itself. So let's break down our joule just to make sure we're on the, the remembering this from before. We break down our joule according to up here. Remember a joule, since it is a force and a distance or a newton a meter, we're going to get a joule which is a kilograms meter squared per second squared. So a joule is going to be a kilogram meters squared per second squared. So I'm just going to write that there to remember. Okay, a newton, remember a newton is a mass times acceleration, so a newton is going to be a kilogram, because that's mass. Acceleration is a meters per second squared, so it's just the second squared down here. So now I have units on top and bottom that can cancel. So what cancels first, let's get rid of our kilograms, because we know we have those on both. Now here I have a meter squared and a second squared, and here I have a meter and a second squared. So I have a second squared on both, so that means I'm getting rid of both the seconds. Now I'm left with a meter squared on top and a meter by itself on bottom. 
So since I have two meters up top, because it's a meter times a meter, I can get rid of this squared and leave myself with just a meter by itself. And if I got rid of one of the meters up here, I had to get rid of the meter on the bottom. So now knowing that I'm just left with a meter, that's what I need is a meter. I have 4.7 meters as the height. So the rocket would reach 4.7 meters in height when it does 70 joules of work. Okay. All right. So that is it for work and we will do power next.